Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Robin. Today, the look I'm going to talk about is nude look. And I know in Singapore, most women I've met, they are looking for nude color, nude eyeshadows, nude lipstick, everything nude. I don't know if they want to be, be naked or something. Anyway, so I think it's pretty um, interesting to see why everyone is going for that nude look. Many of those women I've met, they are pretty unsure what color they should use, what kind of makeup they need to create, what kind of makeup they should wear so I'm going to share with you my idea and my vision of nude makeup so let's start with my skin makeup is already done so I'm going to start with the eye makeup first the reason why I am starting the eye makeup first is because if you apply a lip color first later when you apply your eye makeup product you may apply could be too much because it's all about balance I'm going to start with my eyes first and later I'll need to see which color works for me the best with this entire look and then I'll choose the best nude color that I wear today the first product I'm going to use is an eyeshadow I am going to use my uh, my I should have palette and especially some color like this it's more of a medium warm brown color which is a tiny little brush and then you can use a tissue paper and always pick up a powder eyeshadow and blend before you apply this way will ensure that your eyeshadow goes on smoothly and even and also not too much and first I'm going to start from the outer corner of my eye kind of dragging to set up my eye so I can really contour so try to focus more on the outer corner of your eye so you can really elongate your eye shape. Then grab a blending brush. I'm gonna blend those edges. Just keep it light-handed. And light hand always works better than heavy hand because if you go with a heavy hand, you're actually buffing the color on this one spot. So you're not spreading it, you're actually buffing the color. So it's gonna be look more uneven as you blend more. And once I blend this, I actually it's already sheared down much. So in case if you need an intensity, then of course you need to use a flat eyeshadow brush. If you need more soft and subtle, hazy finish, then of course you can choose brown shape blending brush. So that is why you need to have at least two brush. One for flat, one for round. If you have a round shape brush only, you won't be able to get the intensity and dimension and depth. If you have round brush only, your eyeshadow will just appear to be very dark and heavy. And especially when you're applying your eyeshadow with a fingertip, it's gonna work with shimmer eyeshadow, but it's not just gonna work for a matte eyeshadow. So if you ever experienced it, then you'll know what I'm talking. For shimmers and glitters, of course you can use a fingertip for perfect and advanced adherence so it's all about the formula so as you can see I'm starting to build that intensity I'm still using the same eyeshadow color it's just one color monochromatic and I'm gonna go on my lower eye still working on the outer corner of my eye and I'm kind of dragging upwards so I can really get the lifted eye still using the same color and keep it soft and nice if you ever use an eyeshadow on your lower eye here, especially on the corner of the eye, your eye appears to be more longer. This is a secret zone where you can venture your makeup style. If you really want to get the elongated or wider looking eye, then of course this outer corner of your eye is the place where you need to venture. But if your eyes are hooded like mine, try not to put too much eyeshadow there. And I'm actually looking my mirror really far it's really far it's really it's more than 30 centimeters so you can really see far from distance how your eyeshadow is actually blending and next eyeliner i'm going to use two different eyeliner one is a pencil and the other is liquid these two colors are both brown but this uh, liquid eyeliner is more rich in pigment so even if it's the same brown color it appears to be more darker so i'm going to use this color to draw around my eyelid and i'm going to define my eyes with this liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna show you how first you can just simply go close to your lash line start from the center go all the way in the tip is go light hand and looking straight and see whether this eyeliner is visible or not and once I open my eyes I cannot see my eye line so I'm gonna make it this outer corner here goes a little bit more thicker but if you can see this step would be unnecessary like this just paint it lightly I'm gonna grab the same brush that I used earlier I'm gonna soften out those edges. So this way will ensure that you're getting enough depth dimension and intensity and thus it's not smoky look. It's very subtle and soft 
nude look so this is the final eye look and next a liquid eyeliner pen I'm gonna really create a small triangle I'm thinking to follow my lower lower waterline the direction of my lower waterline my lower waterline has this kind of upwards direction so I'm gonna just follow the direction kind of elongating it and create a small triangle can you see here you can see a small triangle there and I'm gonna fill in you can see the eye line okay so I've already gotten this eye line here once I look straight I can see the eye line still here on the outer corner of my eye and it's very natural and soft it's quite defining and reshaping my eyes and then when you draw this eye line near to your lash line just place this applicator above your lash line and just follow your natural lash line try not to you know against your lash line or try not to stretch your skin like this much okay so i got this eye line already and i i think this eye line look is really cute if I want it, then of course I can go with a black color as well. But since today's look I'm trying to create is a nude look, so I think I'll stop with this brown color. Highlight done. And next, highlighting shade. For highlight, I'm going to use this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector with a soft and fluffy bristle brush. I'm gonna pick up very light amount and take off some excess on the tissue. Then I'm gonna go over my eyebrow bone. And the sad news is, while I'm applying this Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector, I dropped it on the floor and it's broken. But it's alright. That's totally alright. The high point of the cheek, so I can really get the natural radiance. Kind of softly diffused this light powder on my skin. And then lipstick. So I'm gonna use a nude color lipstick that just looks like a nude color like my lips color but better To achieve that look, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Artist Rouge 104 And always remember to keep your lipstick clean and long last Use a spatula and a brush Okay, I'm going to apply star from the center of my lip And this lipstick color is more of a peach orange nude, which I kind of like it. And this lipstick also has a quite a, a floral fragrance. Okay, so the lip color is on and I haven't got my eyebrow done and my cheek done yet. So I'm going to start with a cheek powder. I'm going to skip the cheek blush, but I'm going to use a contour stick and I'm just going to use this contour stick underneath my apples of the cheek and I know this looks kind of funny, but I'm just going to blend it and this color looks just like a con contour blush and the reason why I'm applying this color lower than my cheekbone is because I want to create that the chic nude look, you know like Burberry commercial. I, I feel it's very British. It's just my personal opinion so I'm just gonna use this color underneath my cheekbone to create that contoured blush effect here So as you can see it looks like I applied it looks like I apply some blush color on my cheek But still looks very natural. So the focus is more on the eyes and the lips So this is yet a nude look, but it's more natural nude look, but it's yet emphasizing my facial features So I personally thing this way is more practical so let's move on to those hairy side such as my eyebrow and my eyelashes I, most of the time I like to finish the hairy part the last because it's just my preference that's that's first and the secondly if you apply anything that is too much on this hairy area the later after your makeup this entire looks just looks so fierce and bold and a strong statement there so to create more soft looking light makeup so I like to do those hairy parts later after the entire makeup I'm gonna use this just a classic eyebrow pencil with a very 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 light hand if you like to define them, go ahead. I'm just gonna lightly shade them so I can at least make it look more defined. If you like to apply a eyebrow gel or mascara, please go on. 
see it looks just so 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 natural eyebrow colors i personally think it can be either same as your hair color or it could be darker because if the eyebrow color goes lighter than your hair color it, it appears to be more awkward if you have a blonde hair i don't know if you have blonde hair and watching my video or not but try those really dark brown eyebrow it really just looks so glamorous think of the Marilyn Monroe or Madonna they had blonde hair with dark brown eyebrows it really frames the face and changes the image and as usual I'm gonna use the half eyelash color to curl my eyelashes and the reason why I like to use half eyelash color is because it really can curl the most stubborn and straight eyelashes if you need a really long lasting and waterproof uh, curling mascara try either Japanese or Korean mascara because Westerners mascara they just won't work for Asian eyes Western market and Asian market they have different needs and different preference Western brand so far they are producing their product just for their Western consumers so it's the uh, same to Korean or Japanese cosmetic company they will need to produce their brands that suit for their consumer so if you need a waterproof mascara or long lash curling then try either Japanese or Korean mascara they are the best mascaras for Asian eyes but I'm gonna use NARS Climax mascara because it's one of my favorite mascara and I only have this mascara so honestly speaking the brush is really fat and big for Asian eye but as long as you can you know really curl your lashes this mascara formula is still much wearable for Asian eyes and really can hold the curl and it did not really smudge much on my eyelids surprisingly so okay honestly speaking this mascara is really nice and it doesn't really smudge much on my eyelid formula is a bit heavy so now I can see that the calling is coming down like they're so humble so they're now saying hello I think it's unnecessary so I'm just gonna curl them one more time okay so I think I finished the look how do you like it it's a very wearable nude look that you can wear every single day even at work and you won't bring down your complexion and your facial features because the color and the eye makeup is not totally those concealer colors or foundation colors it has a little bit of colors but it's still very much from like inspired by our complexion shade if you're looking for a nude makeup look this is a nude look that I am uh, suggesting you to try and this is my vision of makeup so and it won't you know emphasize in just one area or it won't create that super heavy look it's very light and natural still but this person is at least wearing a makeup so i really like this look and especially the eyeline technique i think this eyeline technique was pretty helpful for you if somebody has more of a chubby eyelid like mine and by creating really this triangle on my outer corner of my eyelid it really you know make my eyes look more wider and more pop so this is my favorite technique to use i really like this look and it's very soft and subtle how do you think Okay, so this is the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed this look and tutorial. If this video was helpful, then please hit your subscribe and likes as well. And stay tuned for more. I'll be posting more videos and more tutorials for you. So I'll see you soon.